Hi friends and welcome to this uh, yet another small video of uh, MCQ discussion. So after this uh, combined medical services uh, UPSC 2019 exam is over, there was a small question which has sparked a lot of controversies among the students and uh, many of our like uh, thinking on how to answer. So I've just uh, made this uh, five minute video where I'll try to explain to you how to answer these type of questions for your PG entrance exam. So a village X has a population of 5,000 with a birth rate of 25 per thousand. In any given month, how many pregnancies should be registered with the ANM of this village? So you can see the options are pretty close, like 66, 67, 68, and 69. So here we go. That whenever you get this question, you are asking you you've been asked about the pregnancies, or you might be asked about the live births. So you need to calculate the live births first of all. So live births is given by the crude birth rate of the area divided by 1000 into the population. So that's a pretty simple straightforward formula for you which you need to remember it by heart. So make it a star. So let me substitute the values. So the crude birth rate over here is 25. You can see 25 divided by 1000 because it is per 1000 live births into the population which is 5000 over here so what we get is 125 so that is about the life birth now in this question in any given month how many pregnancies should be registered so they are asking about the how many pregnancies are there so how many life births are there we come to know that there are 125 live births in live births in 5000 population so now how many pregnancies will be there the pregnancies will be calculated as live births plus a pregnancy wastage factor pregnancy wastage factor because uh, not all the pregnancies would land up into would have a live birth so there is a pregnancy wastage factor and please mind it that the pregnancy wastage factor for indian circumstances for indian situations we take it as 10 percent of the live births so I think now it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to bang your head anywhere. The live birth is 125 plus 10 percent of uh, 125 would come out to be 12.5. So total would be 137.5. Roughly we can take it as 138. So how many pregnancies should be registered? That is where most of the students had got confused. That the total pregnancies is 138, and why the question is asking about 66, 67, 68, or 69. Please mind it that at any given time, any given time, usually as you, we all know, the pregnancy is going to last for nine months. So at any given time in a year, in a year, at least minimum more than 50% of expected pregnancies should be registered. So that's a simple answer. Half of uh, 138 would be 69 pregnancies should be registered so this formula is actually going to help you in a lot of times that the live birth says crude birth rate uh, divided by thousand into the population by this virtue we can also calculate the number of vaccines which are expected to be uh, to be uh, taken from the government of india so you can calculate the number of measles vaccine bcg tetanus toxoids or we can calculate the number of pregnancies and a lot of mother child health uh, indicators are based on this so that was a straightforward simple mcq thank you so much and best wishes